a group of young people with extraordinary talents are chasing their dreams. With the joining of Lin Yujun, a freshman in high school, the second and third grades of Guangzhou are once again striving towards the championship of that honor. Chapter 1 Introduction You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the mid-20th century, the international situation tended towards peace, and countries unconsciously shifted their competition for national strength to sports. Huaxia, one of the few powerful countries in the world today, naturally focuses on various sports events, especially basketball, a highly competitive sport that is popular worldwide. 2008 years later, the basketball level of China experienced a cliff-like decline. The retirement of the Great Wall players began, and China's basketball declined. Later, in 2017, the Yao League decided through public consultation that high school students could also participate in corresponding professional leagues and national team selections. As a result, basketball talents in China emerged like mushrooms after rain. The eastern coast of China, Jiangsu and Zhejiang provinces, with developed economy, has attracted a group of basketball educators to come here in search of malleable talents. Haibin City the second largest city in Jiangsu and Zhejiang, has had professional league teams settle in, so the basketball atmosphere in Haibin is also one of the best in China. In a sports hall in the city center, there were several sounds of hitting the ball. After practicing for decades, you may not be able to beat me. You must come and challenge me alone, said a man with yellow hair on his head in between the words, the yellow-haired man accelerated forward, and the tall and thin man defending him fell to the back. The tall and thin man cursed and turned back to continue defending, but the yellow-haired man suddenly stopped and the ball slipped in his hand. The tall and thin man was thrown away by the yellow-haired man due to inertia. Seeing this, the yellow-haired man jumped and took a shot, and the ball drew a perfect arc in the air, hollow into the net. Huang Hainan pointed at the tall and thin man and said, Lin Jiafan, how are you? Have you been convinced? Lin Jiafan said angrily, There's really nothing I can do about you, Sunday. Sun smiled and said, Generally speaking, after playing for so long, I still don't know which school you are from. Lin Jiafan looked at Sun with a disdainful expression on his face and said, Damn it, as I told you last time, from Lousy Haibin 4th Middle School to Haibin 4th Middle School. A phone call interrupted Lin Jiafan's words, Sorry, take a call, Sun Chenyang said. Hello. Okay. See you then. After answering the phone, Sun will be leaving soon upon seeing this, Lin Jiafan grabbed Sun and said, After all this time, you haven't told me what your school is yet. Sun said with a disdainful expression, Don't pull and talk. I don't like men. I'm just in love, and my nickname is Mad Dog. You can go and inquire about it. Then he walked towards the door. Leaving Lin Jiafan alone in a daze, his mouth kept murmuring in the light the high school that once won three consecutive championships in the National High School Student League the stadium in Guangzhou is already overcrowded at this time, as the start of the school season marks the day for Guangzhou's team to recruit new players. Apart from those who have already been specially recruited and do not need to undergo trial training, there are also many other people who come to Guangzhou. However, Guangzhou's national pass rate is only 1% It can also be said that the players in Guangzhou represent the top level of high school students in the country, Son, I was late for the recruitment on the first day, so I didn't look like a senior. The speaker was a tall and slightly overweight person who didn't forget to touch Sun's head while speaking, Su Cheng don't make a fuss. Don't you know how powerful you are? Sun knocked off Su Cheng's hand Su Cheng touched his head and said, I heard from the captain that there will be a new coach coming to school tonight. Sun added, it seems like I've played a profession before. The coach of Guangzhou is also a major feature of the Jiangsu and Zhejiang regions. Players often only know whether their coach has changed before the start of the game, but it seems that Guangzhou has never had any problems in frequently changing coaches on the sideline of the basketball court, a bespectacled man with crossed legs shook his head all the time and said to himself, this is too bad, too bad. I hope some special recruits can give some strength, especially the Korean mentioned by the captain. 
Then he said to Sun, This group of boys is not very awesome this year. Sun said, Li Saipeng is okay, let's take a look at the person the captain mentioned. Chapter 2 Coach is he. You are listening at novelfull.audio. In the evening, the afterglow of the setting sun shone through the window into the illuminated gymnasium. In the gymnasium, Sun and his companions were waiting for the arrival of the new students. The sound of shoes rubbing against the ground came from the passage of the ball layer, and several people in the center of the gymnasium turned their eyes to the passage. The person who came, tall but very burly, with black hair, slowly patted it, giving a sense of uncertainty. Su Yi Cheng was surprised in his heart. Is this person's mood above mine? The mad dog said, this guy looks a bit familiar to me. As he spoke, the person who came over had already walked to the sidelines, revealing his iconic smile. He said, it's been two months since we last met, don't even know me. Sai Ping shouted, damn it. Captain. Sun also shouted, Shen Zengqi. It was only then that everyone realized that the person who came was the captain of the Guangzhou basketball team, a nationally renowned football star. Shen Zengqi, and Shen Zengqi was also a participant who once won the last championship of Guangzhou's three consecutive championships everyone hugged each other, their heads resting on their heads. Shen Zengqi exclaimed, this year is my last year. Brothers, I am honored to be here to fight with you for the last year. I don't want to leave Guangzhou with regret, and leave high school where I have been fighting for three years. So I hope to lead Guangzhou back to the height that belongs to him in his final year of high school the others said, okay. As soon as they finished speaking, a faint round of applause came from behind them. The applause was from a middle-aged man, with his flowing long hair covering his eyebrows and a hint of Wang Yin's aura between them. He had very few hawthorns. The middle-aged man smiled and said, Shen's team is good. Guangzhou has the best athletes in the country, and there are only a few that can be compared to it in the country. But Guangzhou was either on a round of games or on the way to a round of games in the first three years. The middle-aged man paused for a moment and looked at the young boys in front of him, as if he saw his once spirited self. The problem lies in the coordination between coaches and players, and the lack of talent appreciation in your school. He continued Captain Shen Zingqi took the conversation and said, That's right, Guo Wenbin, who is at the same level as you, has already transferred to Beijing No. 4 Middle School, and Luo Jincheng, who came to train first but failed, has already grown up in the middle of his return. So, this year's national competition is even more solid and difficult than in previous years. After hearing this, the middle-aged man nodded frequently and said, Tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, Shen Zingqi will notify all the team members to gather at the gym. It's also time to introduce myself to all the teams. As for now, it's time for you to attend class, get out, get out. The next morning, the sun had just risen from the sea, and the streetlights were still on. Dewdrops on the leaves slid into the pond, creating a ripple. As usual, the breakfast shop at the entrance of Colonel Guang was crowded with people coming and going, making it very crowded, twenty buns, five cups of soy milk, and five big pancakes. With a shout of, bye, the diners in the store turned around to look for the source of the sound. Old Mu said, kid, you're helping your teammates with it again. As he spoke, he skillfully divided the items he wanted to buy and said, here, you haven't used up the money you gave last time. You don't have to give them this time. The person smiled and said, thank you. Boss. Your buns are delicious. After that, he stuffed a bun into his mouth. The diners looked towards the door one after another, only to see a figure that was two meters tall, but it was not difficult to see that this person had good muscle lines under a slightly overweight figure in the stadium of Guangzhou. The players arrived one after another. Brothers, have breakfast. Standing on the edge of the field, Prepared for the serious training of the players, Zheng Guangcheng couldn't help but laugh. Hungry. Hungry. I can smell Lao Yang's buns from a long distance. Sun said, holding a bun and a mouthful of soy milk in his mouth, feeling unsatisfied Sui Cheng bit the buns calmly and cursed with a smile, 
you're the one with a sharp nose, but this bun is really delicious. Train, give me a big pancake. After finishing, I still need to practice three pointers and inside footwork for a while. A person wearing a white light in team uniform grabbed the ball with his left hand, stretched out his right hand, and said. If there were a basketball magazine reporter at this time, they would definitely recognize this man, Tao Dasuang, who is only 198 meters tall and can easily move in the fourth position. The most puzzling thing is that he also has an extremely stable three-dot point shot, which is famous in the high school basketball world as the Jingjing Killer, on the court, got it, got it, you're going to treat me like an attack from labor again, boasting, Xin Guangqing casually threw it out. We're going to die soon, hurry up. Chapter 3 Goal is Champion You are listening at NovelFull.audio At exactly 10 o'clock, a whistle echoed in the center of the stadium. The middle dot aged uncle from yesterday stood there, and beside him, besides Captain Shinzingchi, there was also a blue haired boy with a smile on his face, not appearing so childish. The middle dot aged man introduced himself and said, My name is Luo Yuhang. You should have heard of me before. It doesn't matter if you haven't heard of me. I will bring you the same level of improvement. After the man said his name, Sun Liang Yang began to be restless, but that was Luo Yuhang. He once represented his country in the 2004 Athens Olympics on the national team and reached the semi finals with his teammates Zhang Ziyuan, Yi Jianlian, and others on the strong world stage. Unfortunately, he was maliciously fouled by his opponent in the final game and did not retire after being injured. It turned out to be him, no wonder Su Tuqing looked very familiar yesterday and couldn't help but think to himself. With such a coach sitting here, maybe Su Guangzhong could really dominate the country. After Luo Yuhang finished speaking, he touched the blue-haired boy next to him with his elbow. The boy said, I am the person you were looking for yesterday, please give me more guidance in the future. Sun whistled, I am still Korean. The boy nodded, yes, my father is Korean, oh by the way, my name is Lin Yujun. Jin Guangchen repeated in a low voice. Lin Yujun. Suddenly, with some forgiveness, he turned to Sui Cheng, who also turned his head to Jing Guangcheng at the same time. Sun also remembered the person from that summer vacation. So it was you. You didn't get beaten too much before, came here to suffer from my abuse. Lin Yujun snorted coldly, I said back then that I would come back to find you, but in the future, I will still compete with you for the national championship. Luo Yuhang interrupted their conversation and said, Yes, it was my intention for him to come to you back then. Our ultimate goal is to sit on our seats again and create an era that belongs to the light, an era that belongs to you. Okay. The captain said, Our goal is the whole country, not to say who plays who here. Remember that we will always be a team. That's right, Su Yi Cheng said, Coach is good. My teammates are not bad either. This shouldn't have won a championship. Luo Yuhang said, there's no need for high school seniors to undergo physical fitness and fitness tests this afternoon. Let's have a friendship and dampen their morale. The city where Guangzhou is located is by the sea, and the weather changes as the weather changes. It's like flipping a class with the teacher. The sunny morning passed at the handover meeting between the new and old team members, and in the afternoon, it started to drizzle. Physical fitness test, Luo Yuhang conducted a devil's test for the first-year high school students, sprinting from 100 meters to 3,000 meters as the captain of the first year of high school, Lin Yujun's absolute performance once again caught everyone's attention. His time of 11 seconds and 23 degrees surprised the mad dog, and his speed was quite different from that of the mad dog the test for the second highest score is mediocre and lackluster. Except for Mad Dog's 100 which has reached the national level, everything else is at everyone's normal level when it comes to physical testing, it's really embarrassing Su Yuanyuan reached a height and broke a basket tube. Zheng Guangcheng jumped up and reached an astonishing height of 3.24 meters. Sun Zongyang's arm span was truly embarrassing. 
Although he had a height of 2 meters, Lin Yuho only had a 2.01 meter arm span looking at the data, Lin Yuho burst into laughter and said, I didn't expect you to be a short-legged dog. Su Cheng burst into laughter and said, a short-legged dog, a city-like character. After Park Yu, you are still a person to understand. Are Koreans so talented? Luo Yuhang interrupted Yu Kai. High school seniors are almost in a hurry, so high school seniors probably don't need to warm up anymore. Why don't we start? Chapter 4 Team Games You are listening at NovelFull.audio Luo Yuhang said to Lin Yujun, a senior in high school, I don't care where you were in junior high school, where you were the core, where you were the captain. In the light, we are nothing. Since we have entered the light, we should show our level. Don't let the senior in high school look down on us. One of the tall people said, Don't worry, I will show them the power of my Jiangnan dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Is it very strong? Sun Chenyang said, Who has contacted Chao Yang on this line? Su Su replied lightly, I, Xiu, don't remember the provincial central competition at the beginning of the year, don't remember it's him. It was him, quite strong. Sun Hanyang touched his head Luo Yuhang picked up a sunrise and picked up a whistle. Come on, you guys form your own team, don't play in groups of three or three, play in groups of five or five, and children will play. And so, the most intense and spectator match within the team since Guangzhou founded the team began the after. School bell in the light is also very personalized, choosing the most popular, all the way north, at that time. I am heading north all the way. Leaving the season with you have you heard about it? This basketball team internal competition, all senior students also participated. Is it really fake? Can we see Shenzhenqi? Really, I heard that Yi Ziang also participated. Ah, then let's hurry up and grab a good position. Finally, the teammates were selected Team A, Sun Chenyang, Su Yi Cheng, Lin Yujun, Wu Yujian, and Nian Ning Team B, Zheng Guangcheng. Shen Zingqi, Yi Ziang, Tao Da Huang, and Li Saiping damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm here. Zheng Guangcheng yelled and cursed, let me separate from Su Yi Cheng. Shen Zingqi, you're going to be so angry with me. Shen Zingqi apologized and said, you two go across. I'm not tired yet, at least you should come over. Yi Ziang knew, that's right. That's right. I don't want to defend against two on the inside. Luo Yuhang's whistle sounded and said, let's start. You've seen so many spectators coming, give them a performance. In the midfield, the players who were grabbing the ball were also old opponents. Yi Ziang and Su Yi Cheng, the whistle sounded, and Luo Yuhang threw the ball high. Yi Ziang jumped high, and Yi Cheng was not willing to fall behind. His two big hands rushed towards the racket one after another, but in the end, Ziwu ate an extra year's dinner and handed the racket to Zheng Guangcheng. Zheng Yicheng passed the long ball halfway, but his eyes turned to the sidelines, as if he was particularly concerned about someone outside the field, only to see him shake his head, after all, he still didn't come. Looking back, in front of Zheng Guangcheng on the field was Sun, the crazy dog who had already prepared his defensive posture. Guangcheng thought to himself, you're a little sample. Subsequently, there was a continuous dribbling between the legs, and suddenly a left acceleration made him unresponsive. However, he was actually a crazy dog. He quickly changed his body posture and caught up with Guangcheng, but when he looked at Guangcheng, Guangcheng pulled the ball tightly and passed it to De Shuang in a tricky angle. De Shuang received the ball and thought to himself, this team has even greater strength. De Shuang turned around slightly, and Wu Yujie immediately followed, but was deceived by De Shuang's horse. He immediately turned in the opposite direction, then held the ball in both hands and raised it high. Wu Yujie quickly jumped up, but unexpectedly fell into another scam by De Shuang. When De Shuang was about to fall, he jumped up with both feet and threw the ball heavily into the basket, which made a metallic collision sound, as if complaining about De Shuang's strength Wu Yujian held the ball and looked at De Shuang. 
Su Tuching ran to Yu Jie's side and touched his head, saying, It's okay, it will be like this when we meet for the first time. I can rest assured of that guy. Wu Yujie nodded and handed the ball to Lin Yuho. Chapter 5 Team Games 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio After Lin Yuho took a quick step to half-court, Wu Yujie had already placed himself in a good position on the inside. Lin Yujun understood and a high lob was passed into the hands of Qian Zhe. Luo Yuhang nodded and said, This Korean national is undeniably a genius and this high lob center will be very comfortable to catch. In the midst of his words, Wu Yujie forcefully pushed Tao Daswang open. With enough attacking space, he quickly jumped and attempted to dunk the ball into the basket with both hands. Will Daswang score on his own head? The answer was negative, and then the Shuang jumped up too high. Helplessly, Wu Yujian jumped too high, and the Shuang was so angry that he was caught off guard and scored a goal. This goal also ignited the atmosphere of the whole game, even causing some laughter and screams, covering his face. I probably couldn't bear to see such a cruel side. Wu Yujie landed, picked up his serve, stuffed it into Tao De Shuang's arms, and said behind him, Senior, delicate footsteps are your advantage, don't underestimate your younger brother. Tao Da Suang shook his head, it seems that Luo Yuhang was right. Wu Yujie is the easiest one to be hit by fire among these three high school freshmen. Luo Zihang couldn't help but sigh. The ball just now reminded him of the big shark in the United States. He said that Tao Da, a sophomore in Guangzhou, was the spokesperson for meticulous steps, which is the perfect explanation for Wu Yujie's violent aesthetics. That's it, I play one ball, you play one ball, you come and I go down, the first half ends. Meanwhile in the supermarket in the light, a tall girl with a high ponytail is struggling to decide whether to choose a sports drink or mineral water. Zhang Xiaoxin, why are you still here? A short stature with a small ball tied around it looked very cute. Zhang Xiaoxin turned around and urgently said, Ah. Then I'll buy it quickly. Let's go together and wait for me, Lin Yushi. Lin Yushi said, All right. 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 Hurry up, I'll have to wait to see the handsome guy. Lin Yushi said eagerly, thinking of the tall and thin figure of Yi Yang in his magnetic voice in his mind in the second half, Nian Ning from Team A took the lead in challenging the ball. After consecutive dribbles, he accelerated and pulled it back, making a double step back, completely breaking free from Li Saipeng's defense, and scoring a three-point joke into the net, I've caught up, I've caught up, Zhang Chaoxin said, looking for the galloping figure on the field with both eyes, Sui Cheng's sharp eyes caught sight of Zhang Chaoxin and Lin Yushi standing on the sidelines, and he patted Zheng with his hand. Sun and Sun's shoulder said, look at that, are you familiar with them? Under Su Cheng's gaze, the two of them found Zhang Chaoxin and Lin Yushi standing side by side, like two bright lines of wind. Zhang Chaoxin had slender legs and waist, and long black hair. Zhang Chaoxin was famous for being cold and aloof in his third year of high school, but only had one person whom he was passionate about. That was Sun, a sophomore in high school. Lin Yushi was different, and the whole school knew he liked Yi Ziang. Although he was one world younger than Ziang, he was happy from his first year of high school to his second year. Sun saw the situation and said to Zheng Guangcheng, put some water in and let me buckle one. Zheng Guangcheng shook his head and said, don't you see who's down there? How long has my brother been chasing her and there hasn't been any result? How about I give you one? Sun looked at Zheng Guangcheng with disdainful eyes Shen Zingqi served to Zheng Guangcheng, but when Guangqing received the ball, Sun had anticipated it beforehand. He grabbed the ball from Guangqing's hand and quickly charged towards the opponent's ball, taking big strides and dunking with both hands behind his back Shen Guangqing was so angry that his teeth tightened. This kid, he can't cure you without some means the ball was still given to Shen Guangqing. Guangqing looked at Sun and was suddenly startled. The feeling reappeared. 
Just as Sun Dingyang was stunned, Jin Guangcheng broke through Sun's defense step by step. Su Cheng saw this and rushed forward, but did not pounce at all. Jin Guangcheng had already used one of his signature techniques, the 36th basket up, to complete the attack Yi Ziang patted Jin Guangcheng's brain and said, although the ball was scored, the risk is a bit high. It's better to give it to me, Jin Guangcheng smiled and said, Lin Yushi is watching. I'll pretend. You also know my business, senior. Chapter 6 Team Games 3 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the next round, Wu Yuyo received a pass from Lin Yusho, lifted the ball high, and made a very standard layup to take the two pointers off the basket, but Jiang was still old and spicy. Tao Dasuang jumped up from the side and grabbed the ball tightly in his hand, completing the most difficult catch in the block. Tao Dasuang didn't even think about it, he just came with a long pass from the quarterback because he knew that Shen Zhengqi would appear at the position where the ball landed. Sun went crazy and chased after him, but Shen Zhengqi had already jumped high, dunked with one hand, and hung his arm on the basket. The score was also in a tug of war between you and me, turning into 70.71, and the game only had 10 seconds left Lin Yujun took the ball and decided to complete the final attack himself. When the former South Korean genius high school student encountered the widely recognized top outside defense Chen Guangcheng, it seemed that these 10 seconds were not short either Lin Yujun grabbed the ball with both hands and faced Chen Guangcheng. Chen Guangcheng suddenly felt that he was facing a thousand armies and horses. Guangcheng patted the floor, dispelling these distractions from his mind. He crouched down and opened his arms, saying, Come on. See what you've learned in Korea. As soon as the words fell, Lin Yujun took a tentative step on the left and almost without hesitation, accelerated towards the left to break through. He successfully shook off half of Zheng Guangcheng's position, but Zheng Guangcheng was not an ordinary person. He immediately made the most reasonable choice. He grabbed Lin Yujun's attacking route with his body, and it was only three seconds past. Everything happened between the lightning stones, and Lin Yujun had to make a change. With five seconds left until the end, a particularly small joint move by Lin Yujun was caught by Zheng Guangcheng's assistant. As Zheng Guangcheng rushed forward to grab it, he hit Lin Yujun's trap. Junyi accelerated and shook Zheng Guangcheng off several positions. When he couldn't catch up, Zheng Guangcheng shouted, Ziang. Yi Ziang was also a wise person and helped Zheng Guangcheng defend early. At this point, there were only three seconds left, and Ziang's defense was filled with a large gap for Su Yuanyuan Lin Yujun turned his body and the ball seemed to have been enchanted. It spun away from Lin Yujun's hand, bypassing Yi Ziang's defense, and passed steadily to Su Cheng. With only two seconds left, Su Cheng's powerful windmill dunk froze the score to 72.71. It seems that the freshman in high school still has a slight advantage. The audience made a thunderous call the competition was also over, and Luo Zi took an aerial photo of Lin Yujun's shoulder and said, On you, I see the shadow of reaching the top in the light. Shen Zhengqi threw the water bottle aside and called his teammate from the previous competition over. He called out his skills and said, Li Saiping, you're not in good form today. We won't talk about those four mistakes in the middle distance. It's really not like you usually do. You won't be injured yet, right? Li Saiping nodded helplessly and said, There's no way, your last injury hasn't healed yet, so you can't exert force. Shen patted his shoulder and said, You should have been injured. After finishing speaking, he looked at Jin Guangcheng and said, As soon as Lin Yushi arrived, you went up and threw several consecutive shots without making any progress. Zheng Guqing felt embarrassed and said, I'll practice basketball later. Shen Zhengqi nodded and said, just have this enlightenment. Luo Yuhang said, all right. All right. There's no need to take the small competition seriously. What are you doing now? Sun Man walked casually on the school road, Sun, wait for me. A familiar voice rang in his ear. Sun turned around and thought to himself, Zhang Chaoxin. Sun, did you play pretty handsome today? 
Zhang Chaoxin looked up with an appreciative expression on her face. Suddenly, Sun had nowhere to put her hands and feet, so she pretended to loosen them and said, It's okay, isn't it because you're on the sidelines? Zhang Chaoxin laughed heartily and patted Sunday. As they walked in the afterglow of the sunset, Sun looked at their backs and said, I really want to keep walking in this lifetime. Upon hearing this, Zhang Chaoxin looked at Sun, and after intense exercise, beads of sweat slid from the forehead to the chin, and then to the protruding area. Throat joint, thinking to himself. This is too illegal. What are you talking about? Sun smiled and said, It's nothing. In the evening, Zhen Guangcheng ran on the playground again after the competition to exercise his physical fitness. Suddenly, I saw two familiar figures on the other end of the playground. Are they Yi Ziang and Lin Yushi? Yi Yang, why did you refuse me? I didn't understand, Lin Yushi asked, and Yi Ziang stopped in his tracks. There's no reason, because I don't like you at all. I only received your gift out of courtesy among friends before. Lin Yushi was taken aback. Yi Ziang continued, actually, I spoke very directly. If I had just offended you, I would apologize to you. Lin Yushi's heart tightened. No, no, can we still be friends? Yi Ziang patted her head and said, since the day we met, we have been friends. I want to tell you that there is someone in our team who likes you, Jin Guangcheng. You probably don't know. Lin Yushi nodded and said to a junior high school student. Alas, to be honest, he's pretty good, but. Yi Yang Tan said, Zheng Guangcheng will make you change your attitude towards him. Opinion Chapter 7 The Man You are listening at NovelFull.audio It was late at night, and Yi Ziang lay in bed, tossing and turning. He didn't know if today's decision would help Guangcheng. However, Ziang's decision tonight brought unexpected changes to Zheng Guangcheng's life. Early in the morning, Luo Zihang was in the team group and said that he had a day off today in the afternoon, Shi Zhengqi said, today, the school gate will gather. All sophomores and freshmen must come, and seniors can also come. Let's see. Mad Dog Sunday. Is there anything big? Shen Diyuai, smiling, Yi Ziang. Can't we gather together if we have nothing to do? Lin Yujun. I need to accompany my sister. I've already bought movie tickets, crying face, Sai Yicheng. Little brother, you can do it Lin Yujun. It's okay, so what exactly is going on? Shen Zhengqi. Let me take you to see the creator of the last three consecutive championships in Guangzhou. He is my elder brother Mad Dog Sunday. Are you talking about my master? Yi Ziang. I should have thought it was him long ago Song Yitian. Captain, I will get up tomorrow and go with you. If it's okay, I'll come back to the team. Shen Zhengqi. Okay, my goodness, we are all waiting for you Tao Da Suang. Every day, I miss you crying face Song Yitian. Get lost, are you gay? Lin Yujun. So who can tell me who he is Sai Yicheng? You will know tomorrow afternoon in the afternoon, at the entrance of Colonel Guang, there was a bus with a hand print in the light and Chiji looked like a country bumpkin. The team members boarded the train one after another, and when they were all there, Shen Zhengqi said to Kang Keiji, Lao Yang, please. Lao Yang said, what's the trouble? It's all our own people. I'm happy to see you all serving us from first to second year of high school. The vehicle was driving on a crisscrossing elevated bridge, with high dot rise buildings and a sports field between them. Lin Yujun couldn't help but think to himself, it's not much different from South Korea. Lao Yang said, it will take a while to arrive, why don't you take a nap? Su Yi Cheng and Tao Da Suang couldn't help but snore. The vehicle drove out of the city in Zhejiang and stopped in front of a rehabilitation center Shen Zhengqi said, let's go, let's take you to see the legend. Sun took a quick step and ran into the rehabilitation center, but there was no one left. Su Yi Cheng said, this kid is becoming more and more unruly. Yi Ziang sighed and said, 
let him go. Don't forget, he was defeated by that move during the training competition, and he should still remember it vividly now. Jin Guangcheng shook his head and said, I still remember that ball. Drift shooting, I really don't know how that guy did it. Everyone arrived at a room and saw Sun, who was usually lazy and reckless, quietly leaning against the bed like a girl next door who had just entered high school, chatting with someone. The sound of the door interrupted their conversation, and the person looked up and saw Zingqi leading a team to see him. Without hesitation, he showed excitement Shen Zingqi smiled and said, After handing over the position of captain to me, I will enjoy my own happiness here. The person smiled and didn't say anything, but Sun nodded and said, Yes, when will you be able to return to the team? We have strengthened again this year. The person shook his head and said, I'm afraid not. I injured my bones that time, and I'm afraid I won't be able to. In my senior year of high school. His magnetic voice sounded like retirement, like nails nailed to every member of the second and third year high school team at this moment, Lin Yujun stepped forward and said, You are the strongest captain in the light, the former number one high school student in the country. Gong Guangcheng as soon as he finished speaking, Gong Guangcheng suddenly raised his head and looked at Lin Yujun with a serious expression, then smiled as if nothing had happened and said, Little guy, freshman, remember to train well. Lin Yujun nodded and said, I've heard of that game where you played an extra time with the only seven person rotation of Guangzhong and Qingzhong, who had the national number one center, and won the final goal. Guangcheng shook his head and said, It's just good luck. From you, I saw the chance for Guangzhou to reach the top in the future. Kid, I have a good view of you, and do you Gemini still plan to hide your true level? Saipeng also needs to train hard, Ziang. I won't say much more. You have been working hard all along, and I hope you can still achieve your goals this year without me Lin Yujun nodded and said, although I only had contact with you this once, I mainly read your reports and know your position in the light. I will work hard. I believe that Ziang and Zingqi, a group of high school seniors, would like to see you reach the top in the light. The sound of a door opening disturbed Lin Yujun's speech, and then a touch of the sound, ah. One, saw Song Yitian walking in with his head covered and saying, Guangcheng smiled and said, God still looks the same. Lin Yujun was surprised and said, How tall are you? Yitian touched his head and said, To be honest, I don't know, you're that Korean. Park Yutian nodded and said, Don't call me Korean, I'm Chinese. Shen Zingqi patted Song Yitian's shoulder and said, Is the shoulder injury okay? Yi Wujian nodded and said, All right, it's time to make a comeback. You can have a good chance of winning the seventh championship in team history this year. Fei Guangcheng said, Shen Zingqi, have you decided on the next team leader yet? Zingqi nodded and said, Zheng Guangcheng is a good candidate. Zheng Guangcheng touched his head and looked a bit embarrassed, but Su Yi Cheng was the one who was ultimately chosen, which is also the later part at dawn, Gong Guangcheng's ward was still bustling with people. Shen Zingqi said, All right, let's go back and let Gong team rest well. Tonight we have class, and the homeroom teacher should also meet you. Speaking of which, homeroom teachers are also a legend. At night, the night in the light is also quiet. The classroom is filled with basketball team members, who are also waiting for the arrival of the homeroom teacher and teacher. Chapter 8 Lin Yujun's Little Fan Girl You are listening at NovelFull.audio The homeroom teacher's name is Qin Xiang. He was the champion of the Guangzhou team at its inception and also an all-dot-around player. One of the twin small stars in the light back then was Iron Xiang. The homeroom teacher walked up to the podium and looked at the team members, saying, Seeing you, it's like seeing me when I was young. The waves behind the Yangtze River pushed the waves before. Wu Yujie laughed heartily and said, Teacher, you're not old yet, you haven't been beaten to death yet. Qin Xiang patted his hair, which had little profit, and said, You're almost bald. The whole class burst into laughter. Qin Xiang clapped his hands and said, Quiet. Quiet. Let me first explain my requirements. First, you must not be late for class. 
If you are tired from training and competition, you can take leave, but you cannot be absent. Second, you must pass the mid-term and final performance assessments, otherwise you will be suspended from training and playing. The team members said in unison, OK. Qin Xiang said, if that's not a problem, you should also meet your other teacher. In the midst of his words, a tall man in a white jumpsuit said, Hello everyone. I am yours, and I am also your psychological counselor, you scientist. Nye Ning excitedly pulled Lin Yujun and said, This is too beautiful, isn't it? This sweet voice is just my ideal type. Lin Yujun said with a disdainful expression, That's it. Are you excited? Can you wipe your saliva? Nye Ning smiled and said, you're losing your composure. You scientist smiled and looked at the five classmates in class 12, saying, the uniqueness of class 12 is that no matter how many new recruits the team recruits, class 12 only provides self.study in small meetings for basketball students. Normal classes return to their own classes, and this year, the school has taken special care of them, finding one of you five big men to be my assistant. Huang Ruexin, come in, don't be shy. You scientist smiled and watched as a girl wearing yellow short sleeves walked into the class Lin Yujun's eyes lit up. Isn't Huang Rueyu his younger sister who grew up together in Korea from a young age? She just returned to China a few days ago Huang Rueyxin lowered her head and said in a low voice, Hello everyone, my name is Huang Rueyxin. I transferred from a high school in Korea and will be your assistant in the future. Huang Ruexin found a chair and sat next to Lin Yujun's seat, saying, Brother, you played a good match that day. Lin Yujun pressed down on Huang Ruexin's head and said, Did you watch that day? Huang Ruexin nodded like a chicken pecking at rice. Lin Yujun touched her head and smiled silently, but pitifully Nye Ning and Wu Yujie only looked at this seemingly couple's siblings in class 12 of grade 2, the noisy class group fell silent for the arrival of Professor Yu. Yu scientific research smiled and said, Zheng Guangcheng, you played a good game that day, and your assistant is still Lin Yuxi. Guang said, really? Then Zheng Guangcheng danced and stared at the door, as if something would happen next. Su Yi Cheng pressed Jing Guangcheng's head and said, Calm down, calm down, don't be so restless. The next second, Lin Yuxi slowly walked into the classroom from outside, wearing a blue short sleeved shirt paired with a white pleated skirt, slender calves, incomparable appearance, and even some people thought she was even better than a popular star. Lin Yuxi paused and saw Jing Guangcheng's eyes fixed on him, blushing slightly. He smiled at everyone and said, we are all old friends now, and we will continue to study and train together in the new semester. As soon as he finished speaking, Zheng Guangcheng clapped his hands and said, OK. Lin Yuxi chuckled, feeling that she was even more beautiful. In class 12 of grade 3, Zhang Chaoxin just finished chatting with Shen Zingqi and others. Luo Yuhang jumped over and said to Shen Zingqi, the formal training will begin tomorrow morning. We will notify everyone to arrive at 7 o'clock. The morning in the light is always quiet and peaceful. Inside the teaching building, there are a few sparse sounds of reading. High school seniors on the playground are working hard to train and break through their discoveries. The gymnasium in the light is an independent, dome-shaped building with a European style, which can simultaneously answer the questions of the entire person in the light to watch the game. Chapter 9 Team Collaboration You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Therefore, every year the provincial and national competitions in this city are held in Guangzhou the gym is divided into two floors. The first floor is the comprehensive training terminal room, which is commonly known as the gym. The second floor has two full courts and two half courts. The two people who come to training early each time are Zheng Guangcheng and Sunday. Today, Without any surprise, when everyone arrived at the stadium one after another, Zheng Guangcheng and Sun Chenyang had been fighting in a one-dot-on-point one match for nearly half an hour. Sun dribbled the ball on the right side and Zheng Guangcheng stepped forward to defend. Unexpectedly, Sun made a sudden stop, and the friction between his shoes and the ground echoed throughout the entire stadium. 
Jing Guanqing whispered to himself that his voice was not good, so he quickly adjusted his body shape and rushed toward Sunday unexpectedly, Sun Chen Yang's gorgeous turn was like a ballet dancer on the court, after completely passing Jing Guangcheng, looking back at him, he strode towards the stars and clasped his hands tightly. Returning to the sidelines, the team members have put down their backpacks and lined up. Surrounding this huge stadium, this is a good tradition in the light. The rules set by the previous captain were that in the absence of coaches, players should self-train. The first-year players were the latest to arrive, and seeing the senior students in the second and third years warming up seriously, it was as if telling the first-year players that talent is important, but effort is also essential. Lin Yujun threw his bag directly to the basketball rack, Nye Ning and Wu Yujian, who joined the warm dot up team, also followed suit. In their hearts, they already regarded Lin Yujun as the leader. After the warm dot up, Shen Zingqi and Yi Ziang teamed up, while Song Yitian approached Li Xiaipeng for a two on two pick and drop practice. On the other hand, Zheng Guangcheng and Sun's one dot on point one competition was also about to begin. At this point, the freshmen in the first year of high school seemed a bit at a loss, and Tao Dasuang saw the embarrassment in the first year of high school, so he approached Lin Yujun and said, you can practice independently based on your own weaknesses. You know, without 99% sweat, having that 1% talent is useless. Lin Yuxuang nodded and said, thank you for reminding me. I think I should go practice breaking through on the road. Can you help me? Tao Da Suang waved his hand. Don't. 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 I can't break through this kind of thing, let's do it this way. Zheng Guangcheng is a good breakthrough player in the team, I'll let him teach you, Lin Yujun said with a slight smile, thank you, senior. Zheng Guangcheng ran over and said, what's going on, the Shuang? Lin Yujun took the words and said, it's like this. I want to make up for my weakness in breaking through on the left. De Shuang, you're good at breaking through. Can you teach me something? Zheng Guangcheng put his hand behind his head, feeling embarrassed, he said, Oh, what did I think? It's up to me to handle this kind of thing. This afternoon, I'll take you to practice. The coach will come over soon. You can practice shooting first. In a short while, Luo Zihang came over with his psychological teacher and assistant. Jin Jing said, I thought I would be a few late on the first day of today, but I didn't expect that all the freshmen would also come. Watching the team members sweating profusely, Luo Zihang felt very pleased. Being strong in the light is unreasonable, and these team members have talent. Their efforts determine their upper limit. Luo Yuhang turned and clapped his hands and said, Come, everyone, come over. Everyone put down their balls and ran to Luo Hang, saying, No one is a natural basketball player. Everyone needs to build their own path through hard work and sweat. Seeing your conscious practice, I am very fond of it. I hope this fine tradition can be maintained. All right, good boy, let me talk about some of the things that come next. The players all sat down, to relieve the fatigue of the training just now, Shen Zingqi and Yi Yang specially brought a whiteboard for the coach to write on. Luo Yuhang nodded at Shen Zingqi and said, This season is different from usual. In addition to the normal Winter Cup, two new ones have been added. In the middle of the season, there will be branch matches and playoffs at the end of the season. The division matches will compete for the national qualifying spots, and the playoffs will compete for the position order of the last 16. After that, he wrote the words, Return to China and Hangzhou Fourth" on the whiteboard. Continuing, due to regional issues, we will encounter these two schools in the regional competition. I believe I don't need to introduce them further when returning to China. Lin Yujun met Sun and said, Is returning to China very strong? Sun said, Strong, very strong. They were third in the country last year. Although we were sixth, for those returning to China, not being in the top three is considered a failure. Lin Yushi couldn't bear to watch anymore, so he stepped forward and kicked Sunday, can't you say something ambitious? Jing Guangcheng rarely agreed this time. Instead, he said very seriously, 
this is not a lack of ambition. The fact is right in front of us. Even if we have played Huizhong now, there are also Geology, Beisi, Qingfu, and Mingda, all of which were strong in the top 10 miles of last year, so we cannot take them lightly. Lin Yushi pouted and said nothing more. Chapter 10 Favorite of Koreans You are listening at NovelFull.audio Luo Zihang nodded and said, that's right, these schools can't be won just by shouting numbers. You need to use your strength to speak. Shen Zengqi said, Coach, I believe we can do it tonight. We will definitely return to the top spot in the country. The captain's words were engraved in everyone's hearts, and Lin Yujun secretly said, This atmosphere is much more comfortable than playing with those guys in Korea. Luo Zihang waved his hand and announced the end of the meeting, and everyone returned to their respective training. Luo Zihang told everyone to remember to have breakfast after the morning training. After breakfast, let Shen Zinchi come to the office and leave with a swagger. The cafeteria in Guangzhou is sandwiched between the playground and the sports arena. The principal may have hoped that the sports students wouldn't have too much luck eating, and Guangzhou's food is also quite rich, which is exactly what the cafeteria said. It's only unexpected that nothing can be achieved after Shen Zingqi and others were trained, they were always the first to go to the cafeteria. After Tao Da Huang, Sai Peng and others prepared their meals, Song Yitian began to eat in large gulps. Like Su Cheng, Yitian also had a fondness for meat buns. He used to eat meat buns without eating anything all day. As the saying goes, what kind of disciple saw what kind of master? Lin Yujun quietly fell behind. After finishing his meal, he sat next to Da Huang and said mysteriously, Da Huang tastes this, does it taste good? He saw a bottle in his hand, containing red vegetable leaves. Da Huang heard that he had something to eat, and his interest came. Immediately, I grabbed a piece. He said, not bad. Sai, brothers, come and see what the Koreans bring. Not to mention, it's quite delicious. Young man, it's quite impressive. Korean kimchi is still delicious when made by Koreans themselves. Sun patted Lin Yujun's small head and paws and said, If everyone likes to eat, I'll bring some more next time. Lin Yujun said, Okay, no problem, it's quite delicious. That's settled then. In fact, the friendship between boys is very simple. Perhaps just a simple snack can make you a pet, but Lin Yujun captured everyone's stomach with kimchi. Breakfast time always passes so quickly, and the kimchi brought by Lin Yujun is also eagerly shared among everyone. Shen Zingqi had already strode towards Luo Yuhang's office. Luo Yuhang spoke directly to the theme and said, This year's regional competition can have three national spots, with Haibin No. 4 Middle School and Changlin Middle School occupying two. The last one is our performance with Tiantong Middle School. I don't know much about Tiantong Middle School. How do you feel after playing with Tiantong? Shen Zheng snorted coldly and said, Tiantong is also worthy of being compared to us. They have switched between old and new, and their strength is not as strong as before. Well, that's no problem. Also, I have accepted the invitation matches sent by Haibin Middle School No. 4 Middle School, just to test how well you have been practicing with their group of high school seniors during this period. Shen Zingqi nodded, it was time for these little guys to experience the high school level league. In a conference room in the central building of Yanjing, the three Great Wall of China were discussing a major issue with embarrassment on the front. De Yao held his chin in both hands and said, this year's Men's Basketball World Cup will be held in the summer, and the FIBA intends to hold a competition for high school students. As the host country, I think it is necessary for us to send a representative team to participate. Jianlian and Daji, what are your opinions? Yi Jianlian nodded and said, I think De Yao is right. On the one hand, he can reflect the level of sports development of our country internationally, and on the other hand, let's take a look at the shortcomings of our country's foundation. Wang Zhiji took the words and said, it's just right, this year. The National High School Student League is about to start, 
and we can choose a few people to represent the team in this competition.